Hey, what's going on guys? Aaron here, and in this video I want to talk about bow efficiency. <clears throat> now you've probably seen this bow quite often in a few of my videos. It's one of um, thousands of bows I've built, but I call this bow Old Ugly. It was built on a whim uh, using shag bar kickery, and the moisture content was uh, actually pretty high when I tillered, tillered the bow and, and shot it and stuff like that. When I had cut the tree a year and a half ago, it was around 35-40%, which is normal for freshly cut wood. And it dropped down to about 12%, which with hickory, you want about 6-8% to moisture content. Any less, you know, of course it's too brittle, it may fracture. Any more than 8 or 9%, you run the risk of, of creating inefficiencies in the bow. Now this bow, like I said, is 58 pounds. It's 69, 68 inches long. One thing to note with longer bows is that it's almost like taking a short stick and swinging that stick. Now it's a lot easier to do than a long four foot, five foot stick. It takes more energy to bend these limbs back to the, their original shape with a longer bow. Uh, the only reason I prefer longer bows is because they're more forgiving, there's less stack. I can draw this bow to 28, 28 inches in length. There's not much stack at all, and there's a lot of stability. I can aim this, this sight down the arrow and, and hit the target pretty well. Now I go to unstring the bow and you'll notice there's about two and a half, three inches of set. Now 90% of this is because of the fact that I built the bow and tillered it and shot it when the moisture content was still too high. Now when you, let's say you build or you, you fold a piece of paper, you can fold that piece of paper. Once you unfold it, it's permanently crushed. The seam will always remain, there will always be uh, crushed fibers and that's the same thing with wet wood if you want to call it that the fibers on the belly the compression uh permanently is crushed forever so it's it's taking that set now don't get confused inefficient bows are still lethal weapons it's actually preferable to have a bow that has about an inch of set or so um but the only issue is that your feet per second your cast velocity will will be affected you know this long bow here shooting a 500 grain arrow will throw an arrow anywhere from 140 to 155 feet per second, which at 22 yards, that's still lethal. That's still a lethal weapon for hog hunting, for deer hunting, and stuff like that. Another big factor in inefficiency is string material. Now, this is artificial sinew, which is a very elastic material. And when you use an elastic bowstring material, that absorbs a large amount of energy from the, the elastic potential energy of the limbs. It absorbs a lot of energy from the arrow. So that affects performance as well. So another, some other materials that do do that is sinew or rawhide. Now plant fibers are less elastic, so they, they do, you will see a, a greater increase in velocity from your arrow with a plant fiber string. Now I recommend Dacron B50 because it's cheap and it's very little stretch. Uh, I just have this artificial sinew string because I was bored one day and decided, what the hell, I might as well make a string from the leftover artificial sinew I had. Another big factor in um, efficiency is, is mass, back to belly ratio material. Now if you build a 60 inch longbow and your bow is pulling 65 pounds with thick limbs, that lowers efficiency because now you have a bow that has more strength to pull back and it's causing compression issues on the belly. Um, and there's a lot of more detailed physics out there as far as archery goes. Uh, you can look up videos from like Mick Grucock, Clay Hayes. Uh, Ryan Gill, Primitive Archery. Um, and like I say, this is not something I would ever sell to a, to a customer. I'd build efficient bows, uh, cure them properly and stuff like that. But this is definitely something I would not hesitate to take hog hunting or deer hunting. It's a, it's a powerful bow, 58 pounds. Uh, very sweet shooter, no stack whatsoever, little hand shock. It's got a nice centered, pinched in grip so I can sight down. Uh, this is definitely an inefficient bow, but it's still a lethal weapon, so don't ever get those confused. Now, when you start shooting true green wood, 35, 40% moisture content, let's say you go out and cut a sapling, bend it like I did when I was 13 and tie a shoestring, that is a very inefficient weapon. Um, I still was able to take small game, small birds, small fish, and frogs when I was 13, 14 years old. Um, it was still a lethal weapon, obviously, because it took small game but it was very inefficient. It wouldn't be suitable for large game or anything like that. While this bow is just slightly inefficient with its set um, and all that stuff. So what I recommend for future bowyers 
is definitely make sure your moisture content and your levels of moisture in your wood are down to optimum levels, anywhere from seven to nine percent. Ten percent can be acceptable. Um, but then again, wood material, shag bark, hickory, and all hickories are known to take a lot of set unless backed with sinew or something like that. So bear that in mind, mass of the wood as well as the outer limbs, the last 10 inches of the outer limb, you need to reduce that width uh, to reduce mass. Um, this will definitely aid in velocity and also reduce hand shock. All right, guys, that's it. That's all I got to say on efficiency. There's still a lot more to cover, um, but I thought I'd go over the basics, you know, as far as moisture content, keeping back to belly wood uh, material at a optimum for your length of design as well as wood material and also reducing the outer 10 inches of the limb to prevent uh, excess mass which would slow down your arrow. Alright guys, anyways, like I said, this is a bow, old ugly, and she shoots good for me. I want to take her hunting next year, um, but just for people who are interested in purchasing bows, do not worry. This is not something I would send to your address uh, if you purchased a bow. It would be a very efficient bow for sure and uh, would look a lot better than this one because this one's an old ugly bow. Anyways guys, take care.